playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Okay, that wasn't creepy at all. Hello, y'all. It's Dago Kyber. We're back on Subnautica, and today we're finally going to get some freaking upgrades done for our Seamoth. And maybe at least one for our Cyclops, because, well, you know, we need some upgrades too. Fortunately, I uh, the one I do want for our Cyclops, which is the uh, depth module for it, or, uh, we don't know how to make yet. <laughs> if we can, I would like to try to find that guy today so that we can actually get that built too. But first, let's go ahead and head on downstairs. All right. Now, I didn't do any real changes. The only thing I did was I made I get our, uh, our uh, external grow beds. They're all nice and full now. We've got some blood kelp, of course, or uh, uh, Oh, blast it. What are those things called again? Gel sacks. And our regular kelp there. The the deep shrooms. And then there's another one that's out there that I haven't decided what's going to go in there yet. But we'll figure something out. So the other thing was over here. We did get some more of our stuff planted. These are our regular things. Once again, I don't know if we're going to need these uh, later on or not. So, I mean, if we do, great. They're right here. If not, eh. They still look cool. I like it. Uh, let's see. Anything else that was changed? Uh, not really. The 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 uh, of course the this is still empty, and then there we still have our break room with our lovely spade fish who's still here. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to uh, put him in the third the third alien containment. Oh, and speaking of that, that was another thing I wanted to try to do today to get our cute fish if that's what it is which I believe it is so we'll come out here grab our little egg that'll be the first little resident in our alien containment <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, my God. It's so cute. <laughs> it's in there. Can, I, can I scan it? No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to leave our little cute fish here. Even though I kind of want to see what he does. That is so... That is so weird. The egg, it's pulsating. Okay. Yeah. We'll let that guy, that guy grow. We'll come back. We'll check on him. But first, like I said, what I want to do is I want to try to get some of the upgrades done for our, for our lovely sea moth. And we can at least build one right now for our Cyclops. Anyway, so, I'm coming here. Grab all these. Grab all these. Well, actually, yeah, I think most of it. Uh, let's see if I'll get... Ah, nope. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So, first thing first. What I would... Hmm, I wonder if it'll let me do this. Let's see. Uh, first things first. I want to build... Uh, oh, this guy. This guy right here. They're not the radiation. The reinforced dive suit. So we come over here, we grab this, make synthetic fibers. And then we come back over, over here. Make our reinforced dive suit. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough room or not. Well, apparently we did. No, wait. No, we did not. Oh. It still seems like it's there. OK. 
Okay, there's our radiation suit. I think... I think I can go ahead and take it off for now. Uh, which... I think this one's mostly... Yeah, this one's fine. And then was there anything else that we had? Oh, maybe it didn't make... Mm, I may have to check that out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. That's good. At least we didn't lose anything. Okay, so now we are completely decked out in our new reinforced dive suit with reinforced gloves. I don't think there's a anything else for it. I think it's just those two pieces here. Anyway, so the next thing we want... Let's see if we can grab the rest of this. Nice. Uh, Alright. One more thing I was wanting to make. Which is our propulsion gun. And we're still out of room. God dang it. Alright, let's do let's do this. We're gonna mark our <clears throat> we're gonna make our mark two real fast. This will get rid of a bunch of stuff. Then we're gonna make our mark three. I got rid of even more stuff, so we should be able to grab the propulsion gun. So uh, yeah, that's the stuff. Number five. I know exactly who to test it on. What the f what the what the fudge was that? Okay, let's see if he's out here still. Last I saw him, he was over. He had moved over a little bit. Yeah, there yeah, you are. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, 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 I can't grab him? I thought we could grab the... Maybe it's too big? Yeah, I think it's just too big. Well, that stinks. Hmm. I may have to get a stasis rifle, or we could make a prawn suit and then just, you know, beat him up with a prawn suit. But he's moved off a little bit of a distance. For those who don't remember, he used to be right over here. <laughs> right in front of us. So anytime I exited the front of the of our sea base, he would just pop up and try to bite me. But now he's kind of moved off. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh well. We've got our... Main thing is we have our propulsion gun. We're going to need that. I could always upgrade it to the repulsion gun. But I don't... I mean... I don't know what that's supposed to do. I mean, it says right here, of course, applies percussive for percussive that applies percussive force to entities in range. Uh, I'm assuming it, it sounds more like a like a punch. Like when the when the propulsion gun grabs you, you can either it pulls it towards it and then you can shoot it off to the distance. I'm assuming it just like a punch. I don't know. I may I may see about making a second one. And then turning that second one into the repulsion gun. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, so that's one thing done. Or, I guess two if you want to be specific about it. The other thing... Uh, we can come over here for our... One of the things for the Cyclops. Welcome up Captain. All systems online. Which is the decoy tube upgrade. Yeah. Now, oh God. We are going to need this thing. I know we are. It, uh, I'm just going to have to spend some time making a bunch of, tea, uh, of decoys. And maybe put some chests around here. Full of decoys. To, so that we can load into our decoy tube. But I don't want to do that right now. I know we're going to need it though. So... <laughs> We're, well, hey, we had to get that upgrade made. All right, let's see. Now, what else was I wanting to do? There's a few other things. I believe we need this guy, which I have put it up. Change this to number five. Now, uh, let's see here. I believe one of them... I did want to make the radio, because I didn't want to have to go all the way back to the... Uh, our starter base, or the... Uh, the the uh, 
life pod in order to hear any messages that might have popped up while we were out. I'm trying to think if I want to put it over here or if I want to do it upstairs. I think I'd rather do it down here. I could put this as well, but I'll have to get this stuff to make that. But I do want to at least have this down here. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to. I could put it right here. It might not be. It might be out of the little more out of the way. Eh. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's stick it here. Haha. And apparently we have a new message anyway. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Okay, that wasn't creepy at all. Nope, that wasn't creepy at all. Thanks for that, game. Thanks for that. Alright, uh, there was something else I was wanting to build. Uh, I think it was... Hmm. I know I wanted to build that, but we may get that into that later. Uh, we do need this. We do need our vehicle mono, uh, a vehicle upgrade station. Uh, I need copper wiring and a chip for that. Uh, we've got, we've got uh, plenty for that. Let's come here. Grab this guy. So let's see. Hell, right about. Uh, eh, 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 there it is. Do I want to put it here? Or do I want to put it there? I guess it really doesn't matter. Nice. Nice. Right, what else can we build all in here? We got regular torpedoes. Let's see. Whole reinforce. Oh, man. We're going to need. Whew. Definitely need some of this stuff. Like the engine efficiency. Whole reinforcement. Whole reinforcement would really be uh, good right about now. I do want this guy. Oh, my lord, do I want a perimeter defense. <laughs> If I can, we're also going to see about the sonar, but I will have to see if we... I think I have some more magnetite. Uh, so anyway, we want polyaniline and a wiring kit. Alright, so we wanted our perimeter defense. Nice, nice. Alright, alright, alright. So we get our perimeter defense and... Our Mark III depth, mo depth module, 900 meters. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now, I, for this one, I'm probably going to do the sonar, I think. Uh, I like the torpedoes, but I don't know. I could I could replace the uh, storage that's in there with uh, the torpedoes and then have the fourth one, of course, be the sonar. I do like it. Uh, but that, uh, still, um, the solar, not, uh, doesn't matter that much. But, yeah, okay. Nice. Nice. I do want to get to building, of course, our prawn suit. I do need that. Especially for the bigger resources. Actually, do we even have access to the drill arm? I don't remember. I don't think we found that yet. So we definitely need to do that as well. Uh, now, there was a few other things that I was wanting to build today. I got a lot of stuff. But what else was I wanting here? I do want to get the either the Ultra Glide fins or the Charge fins. I do love those Charge fins because <laughs> with those Charge fins, we can pretty much swim around forever with our Sea Glide. But those Ultra Glide fins, whew, the, 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 the swim speed... Really nice. I'll, I'll have to figure it out. I don't know which one yet I want to get. Alright, so the next thing that we're wanting to build, of course, is our at least one thermal plant. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> this will be great. Uh, the, the, and, of course, for the thermal plant, we are going to need to have our power transmitters. I don't know... I don't know if we have enough gold and titanium for it. Or at least on us. We have plenty of freaking gold and plenty of titanium if we need more but I do want to get this 
thermal plant set up. It should be right over here. I think we gotta dodge these guys. These these three. There's always these three around here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I always have to freaking dodge them if I try to get some stuff. But now that we have our reinforced dive suit, we shouldn't take anywhere near as much damage from them or from this guy. Nice. Now, this is actually where I kind of wish... No, no, I don't want to build a... I don't want to build a foundation because it'll the thermal plants will send the power to the foundation or at least that's what they used to do I don't know if that's still the case or not so anyway let's build our thermal plant hell just gotta find a nice spot but I do want to build as many of these as I can I want to try to get at least like four of them the only problem is you know finding freaking spots for it all right, all right, all right, all right. There should do. But first, we need to at least build one. Nice. Let's get this guy because it's in my way. 64 degrees Celsius. Not bad. Definitely not bad at all. all right, I'm trying. Let's see. I don't. I'm, hmm. See if these things. Yeah, the first one always needed to be really close, didn't it? All right, I'm gonna put this relatively close because what I want to do, like I said, is have more than one. So the more that we, the closer it is, the easier the other three are gonna be to connect to it. All right, come back over home. We should be able to stretch this guy out pretty far. Of course, I gotta dodge these guys. If I stay low, it should be okay. And as long as we're playing with some stuff, we should be fine. Good lord, how far can I stretch this guy? Oh, another message. That's fine. All right, all right, all right, there we go. That's right about here, I think. Did I get it? No, I think I'm not close enough. Dang it! Come on. Oh, come on, you had it. There it is. I guess I'll stick this guy right here. Nice. Oh, damn. Okay. Only needed two. All right, let's check this out. No. Not number two. Number one. 30 seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ooh, look at that. 1,050. Constant source of power. I'm just going to build more of them over there. I will probably do that off camera because that takes a lot of resources. Now, let's see, we got a few, we had a few other things, but I think that was about it. Hmm. Got some more gold, but all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see about... Oh, that's right. Let's see about our message first. Aurora, we're approaching the planet. Dang it! We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Alrighty then. Well, at least we definitely know what we're going to probably end up doing on our next episode, because <laughs> that's not anywhere near. Oh, uh, man. Let me grab some food here and some water. How am I doing it? Let me grab one more. Come out. Oh, 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 cuttlefish. Ah! Forgot to check out our egg.
Hey there, little buddy. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> cuttlefish. Uh, small gray colored herbivore, cuttle, the cuttlefish, displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, the species has not been encountered in the wild, and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched within an alien containment unit. Uh, in the absence of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the uh, cuttlefish's life cycle. It is possible that the environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to uh, to the edge of extinction and leaving its eggs in permanent stasis. It is also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 4546B from another world behavior. Uh, let's see, we do know the the cuttlefish is a herbivore which displays highly social behavior in its interspecies interactions as was observed in earth dolphins before their extinction Aw, dolphins are extinct no they probably just left the planet for looking for more fish uh this creature seems to understand the concept of others minds the prime indicator of true sentience and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps in Chirrups. Chirrups. Whatever. Uh, interaction. Evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and the responding in kind. Assessment. Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component for of psychological health. Hey there, little buddy. Oh, whoa. I picked him up. What? <laughs> Supposed to be able to. I thought you were able to pet him or something. Maybe they changed that. I have to see. But we got our first little pet, <laughs> which is basically what this gaming containment is. It's for pets. Right, let's grab a. All right, so like I said, what I was liking, what I was wanting to do, is I was wanting to see if we could find our Mark One uh, Cyclops upgrade. I want to see where it is, if it's anywhere close to where we can get to it. Well, then I'd like to try to go grab it because <laughs> we are going to need it, especially if we want to go anywhere near the Lost River. So give me a few minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back now. From what I was able to find out, one of the places we can get the Mark I blueprint is from Life Pod 2, if I remember correctly, which should be around here somewhere. Uh, but, <laughs> and of course, on the way down, I see you. I saw that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I know I saw something there. Okay. Well, anyway. The only thing we got to be really careful. Cause not only is this area relatively deep, but... I believe there's some nasty stuff around here. I don't know if we've seen this life pod before. I believe I believe I have, but I'm not a hundred percent. The only problem is that I still don't know if we're in the right spot. I think we are. I would go into silent running, but it takes up so much power. Oh, I see something there. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is life pod two. It's definitely a life pod. Can I rotate the, my butt a bit here? Thank you. 
I'm going to try to get as low as I can go. I don't want to go too low because I don't want to get into crush depth. But this should be good. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, this is definitely a life pod. Yeah, I'll take this crystal. Yeah, I think we have been to this one. Yep, there we go. Ooh. Now, can we get into this guy? There it is. Alright. Integrating new PDA data. You see any other PDAs around here? No, see oh, grab this guy. This stuff is a. Uh... If I have any copper, I may put a beacon down. I think I have some. Yeah, I do. I have a piece of copper, but do I have any titanium? It does not look like I do. Dang. I don't even see any blasted pieces. I use all... Wait, you know what? You know what? That, uh, where is it? That behind us right there should be an entrance, or one of the entrances, to the uh, Lost River. But, if I remember correctly, that's also the home to, <laughs> to our favorite ghost reapers. Or ghost leviathans, I should say. Life Pod 2. Alright, real quick, while we have the moment, and we have a few. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've made it though. It does not look like they made it. Okay, what else do we get here? What's this? Degasi Crew Manifest. Uh, eh, that's fine. All right, so now that we have our Mark One, I'm gonna try to head back. Hopefully, not run into anything. We try to make that Mark One at least, and then we're gonna head on over to the Degasi landing site or the not the gossy the sunbeam landing site but anyway so give me a few minutes and i will be right back all right we made it back to base i gathered what i needed to make the mark one which is the plasteel ingot and three rubies which we already had the plasteel so might as, might as well get just three rubies so here we pop this little guy in bam 900 meters now, y'all are probably wondering, well, if I already had that, then why didn't I go to make the Mark II? Unfortunately, the Mark II requires nickel, 
which we don't have nickel. I believe the, that nickel is in the Lost River, which we haven't even made it to the Lost River yet, which is why we're trying to get these blasted things in the first place. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. Now, Mark 1, Plasteel Ingot, and 3, Nickel Ore. We don't have it. Now, Mark 3, or is that Mark 2, then this is Mark 3, needs 3 Kyanite Crystals, which we don't have yet. That is in the inactive lava zone. In the active lava zone, so we don't have that. Now, we do have another message. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Yeah. We already know where Life Pod 4 is. We've already been to that one. That was the one that we had to go to before we actually got to the Aurora. That's where we got our, uh, what is it, the decoys. But anyway, now that we have everything for our Cyclops and for our uh, Seamoth, we are going to start heading out towards the island. We got 16 minutes to get to the island before the Sunbeam gets here. Now, of course, that is going to be on the next episode. But for now, I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to thank you all for watching. I'm going to hope to see you all again. Remember, if you all like this video, please press that like button. Leave a comment. That lets me know that you all are enjoying the videos that I make and want to see more. But for now, like I said, thanks for watching. And later, y'all.